In this video, we're going to be having a look at the parallel processing within Hornbill's Business Process Management Engine. So to do this, we're going to go into the Service Manager application and look at our request list. And from here, we're going to open up one of our existing change requests. Now, at the top of the change request, we have our heads-up display, which shows the different stages and checkpoints within a business process. Within these, we can assign out multiple tasks or activities. There's quite often a need when assigning these out that these are um, assigned out and to be completed in parallel rather than sequentially. So what we're going to do is we're just going to switch over to the Hornbill administration where we can show you how this can be quickly configured. So we go over to our workflow option and we select the business processes. And we're just going to open up the change process which was associated to that particular change request. So we have our different uh, activities that are part of this proposal node, and we can see that these are lined out to be done sequentially. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this connection between these particular, uh, particular activities. Now, following on from the first activity being completed, I'm going to add a new Start Parallel Processing node. So this is where we can now line up multiple tasks or activities to be done at the same time. So we're just going to bring these two uh, activities down and we'll draw our line out from our start parallel processing node. And from the bottom one, I'm just going to now bring this out to add our finish parallel processing node. Now these aren't limited to a single node between the, the start and the finish of the parallel processing. So here I'm just going to add in an additional um, task or activity for a particular user. So I'm just going to assign this out to uh, Alan Castle. And we'll just give it a quick uh, description just for an, an investigation task. So we'll just type in investigate. And then we'll just draw a line down to our finish parallel processing node and connect that back into the rest of our workflow. So we have our two lines of processing now. Uh, um, and now, in order for this to continue on uh, past this, all of these must complete and get to the finish uh, parallel processing node. Now we can even extend this even further. We can continue to add more lines of processing within here. So I'm just going to add in an additional authorization node 